Hey, what's up everyone? This is Wicked Android HD and tonight I'm going to be showing you how to flash latest Team UB ROM based on CM12.1. So, we're going to be flashing unofficial builds because there's no official build for my device, the GF LTE XX. And uh, I'd always recommend making Android backup before proceeding to the flashing part because if, in case if something goes wrong, you'll be able to return to your current configuration. Uh, how you do that, you just go into uh, backup and restore, and then choose to, to backup either to SD card or SD card 1. And after you've done that, this is a crucial step go into wipe and format options. Be careful, uh, this will wipe all your internal data uh, except the SD card or the external SD card so we're gonna be wiping uh, data in cache and the system also um, I don't know very much about this ROM to be honest but um, we're gonna be fine I'm gonna be f uh, you will find out soon after I flash this ROM uh, sorry I'm a little bit tired I'm about to get my driving license and I'm so nervous about it. Um, yeah. Okay, so it's almost done. So, yeah. Then we're gonna be going here in the main uh, recovery menu and install zip, choose zip from SD card 1. And then we're gonna go into take a look at this because it is um, not named as uh, Team UB. It is named simple CM12.1. So it was released on 22nd of April, one week ago. So let's try it. So opening update package. Let me zoom in no branding things so let's hope it won't take as much as it did on the other CM12.1 ROM okay Installation is done. It took uh, kind of five minutes to complete, but it's done. Then we'll need to flash gaps. This file here, gaps lollipop. So gaps for Android 5.0. So it isn't 5.1. It is 5.1.1, but why is that? Let me check it out. Gaps. Yeah, the default. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think we may need to flash the mini mode 5.1 since it is a 5.1 ROM. It seems logical to me to flash a 5.1 package, so yeah. Let's reboot the system and take a look at the boot animation. Really curious about it. Stock Samsung logo. What a steady hand I have. <laughs> Team EB unofficial builds. Really nice animation. So I'm gonna get back to you guys after I configure my Galaxy S4 running Team EB ROM. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm running Team EB ROM. Android, pay attention, 5.1.1 Team UV version along with a Cyanogen mode kernel 
which is by the way customizable by downloading this app kernel editor but uh, as you may see it says it said not root access you have to um, you have to go into settings then about phone then scroll down until you see build number or to activate root go into sorry not performance developer options and then enable root access okay then you can customize your device as you may see privacy gold everything you need to know about your CPU memory information you can customize everything related to your CPU CPU you can see your CPU usage cores um, you can change your CPU governor multi core power saving CPU boost you can boost your CPU CPU hot plug GPU settings on demand low memory killer miscellaneous controls on build prop you can customize your DPI and many other things so this is the ROM itself on the first side um, I gotta say that it feels more customizable that, uh, than any other ROM um, let's get into settings actually let's browse through some apps and see what uh, else what changes um, is uh, this ROM bring us so if you open Google Play Store I don't know if it was a 5.1 update or not but let's say for example I'm gonna go to this app as you may see the animation is very interesting so the icon goes from here to here and also you will have some animation here and if you go back you will have an icon right there which is pretty cool M uh, minimalistic touches let's make a phone call okay fast fast enough not single problem okay so you you can uh, slide up to clear the heads up notification this is the message itself um, browser calculator camera okay let's test the camera okay clock so you can customize your weather settings and calendar events here clock uh, for the alarm and other things like um, stopwatch and timer documents Email file manager, default CM file manager. All your files are stuck in here. Flash player. Who the fuck is Flash player, by the way? Hangouts, maps, music player, and yeah, usual shit from Google. Let's get into settings. Has CM support, team support. Lock screen, you already know this. Audio FX, it's integrated in uh, settings. Battery, launcher, personal. So, launcher, you can set up your default launcher. Status bar, you can customize your clock style. And there are things like uh, your date. Notification drawer allows you to cast to set here as many tools as you want to you already know this kind of things we have uh, advanced settings app bar touching the right side of the screen trigger with 
yeah this is the M bar not gonna use this by the way as a notification clock widget display LCD density you can set up up on on about uh, you can set it on about uh, 360 we should make a test lock screen weather well it's very interesting because you can uh, set up your your weather on lock screen the recent panel default recent panel no lag memory ball uh, I saw an interesting thing I don't know where but um, it was related to a smart cover I think here in display maybe yes here smart cover so control sleep and control wake I have here this uh, oh in smart cover from Samsung so for example if you're using doesn't matter always doesn't matter if you're using uh, uh, this cover you won't like this thing because it doesn't benefit of S view but um, if you're using an, a regular uh, cover if you put this screen for example it will automatically close the device lock the device and if you open it it will automatically turn on the device which seems very interesting a very interesting feature it may consume battery but uh, it's worth it if you're using a cover um, so yeah that was it for today guys I hope you like it if you did please thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel I'll put a link in the description with all the files you'll need or the flash is wrong. So thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned. Wicked Android is out. Bye bye.